welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Rocio. And if you're not new here, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my bag collection, bag collection, purse collection. I'm pretty sure it's bag collection. <laughs> and I'm not going to be getting into like specific detail with each one of them. But if you would be interested in like a more in-depth video on a certain bag, go ahead and let me know down below and I can go ahead and do that for you guys. So if this is something you guys would be interested, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys like 5 seconds to subscribe down below. And don't forget to turn on your bell notification. That way you guys get notified every single time I upload a new video. Okay, but enough of me rambling. If you guys are interested, then just go ahead and stay and keep on watching. So the very first bag that I am going to be starting with is this beautiful, beautiful red guest purse. So I did get this at the guest store. The bag that it reminded me of was the Prada nylon bags. You know, like they have like the shoulder ones and then they have them with the strap. But it is so, so freaking cute. I loved it. I feel like it's something different to what I usually wear. But yeah, this is basically like a, I don't know what you would describe this, like a leather. It's very, very sturdy. It's pretty hard. And then inside of it, I just have paper to keep it, you know, like sturdy still. But I have already worn it. But yeah, this bag is super, super cute. I love it. Um, and then it's red, so I feel like it stands out a lot too. And I believe this bag was... If I'm not mistaken, around $65 with taxes. So the second bag that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Gucci. Let me go ahead and look it up. So it's the Gucci Marmont Small Shoulder Bag. And it does retail for $1,100 right now on the Gucci website. At the time that I purchased this, it was cheaper. It was $988. And in this video, you guys are going to see that these kind of bags from Gucci are like my favorite bags. I think they're so, so comfortable. Uh, but this one is different compared to the rest. I don't even know how to describe the material on this. But it just has these gold um, double G's. But for these bags, I do put paper in them just because I want them to, you know, have their shape still and stay sturdy. It just has the strap and then it just has the gold part right here. And then it's a long strap. This was actually the first bag that I bought for myself from Gucci. I did get this last year in February when my boyfriend and I were in Vegas. But the back of the bag has the same design as the front. Uh, but yeah, this is such a cute bag. So the next bag that I am going to be showing you guys is literally the same bag as the one that I just showed you. But it is a different color. This is the Gucci Marmont small shoulder bag. No mistaken, this is leather all around. And then it just has the... This is more like I feel like a rusted Gucci compared to the other one. I'm going to give you guys a little comparison really quick. So this is a comparison. You guys see that this one's actually like gold gold. And this is more like of a rusted Gucci. I did give this back to myself for my birthday last year. And at the time of purchase, it was $1,290. But the bags have gone up since then. Now on the Gucci website, it is $1,490. So they did go up about $200. This one, I don't have paper in it. I did have the paper in it a few days ago. But I don't know where I left it. I don't know if my boyfriend threw it away. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the accurate color. Because I like to say it's beige, but it's not. It's actually dusty pink leather. That's the color that it is on the website and it just has the same design on the back of it and then it just has two big double G's and then for this one it's the same thing it just has a strap on the side and then it also has like the rusted gold on the side with the long strap. This is my second Gucci bag purchase and um... I love it. I love this one. This one's so, so freaking cute. It matches with everything. I feel like it goes with everything. So, definitely recommend. So, the next bag that I am going to be showing you guys is the <laughs> same one. I do have them pretty repetitive, just different colors. This is a Gucci Marmont small leather bag. This is pretty much the same one as the other ones that I just showed you. This one's black leather. Same thing, same design. I feel like the hardware is the same as the dusty pink one. Um, it's more like of a rusted instead of like the shiny one like the first one that I showed you guys. Uh, this same thing just has these straps and it just has like the rusted gold chain and then the long strap. But this bag, um, if you guys didn't watch the video from my anniversary with my boyfriend, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below. But my boyfriend actually gifted this to me for our one year anniversary back in February and it goes with everything, but it's super cute. It has the same thing, the double G's on the back. And you know what? I don't think I showed you guys. For all of them, on the inside, it is a suede material and it is beige or like a creamy color. I'm waiting for that little cream or conditioner or whatever so I can go ahead and clean the inside of my bags. 
because I do want to go ahead and maintain them. They're really, really expensive. Well, to me, they're expensive. But I really, really love these bags. And to me, they were really worth it. And this one's the same price. It does retail for $1,490. So that's that one. The next bag that I am going to be showing you guys it is another Gucci bag. So I don't see this bag on the web Serena. I don't know if you guys' local Gucci store has it. But it is this pink smaller bag. This is um, a lot smaller than the other ones that I was showing you guys. This is the, I'm going by stuff of the dusty pink one. But this is the Gucci Marmont Madelise? Madelas. Madelase. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it, but it's the Gucci Marmont Leather Super Mini Bag. And the price, I don't see the pink one, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same thing as the other colors. Um, right now, it does retail for $990. When I purchased this bag, it was a little bit cheaper. It was $890 at the time that I purchased it, which was last year in September. And then just to show you guys, it does come with these straps. But since I have it on display, I like to put the strap inside. That way it like, stays. So the inside, I also have paper in this one. And then so you take out the strap. I really really love the color of this bag I really really do wish I would have gotten in the size as the rest of the bags that I have right now just because when I had ordered it I did order it on the Gucci website so I got it by mail and it was a little bit smaller than I anticipated I mean I already knew that they were obviously a mini bag but for some reason I just thought <laughs> it wasn't gonna be this mini and one thing I don't like about this bag is that it doesn't have the, you know, the leather. And this one does tend to fall off from my shoulder when I have it as a shoulder bag. So I always have to wear this one as a cross body. But I really do wish they would have put the leather on some of the strap and not have had the whole chain as... A chain basically <laughs> and these I felt like were different just because even in the bigger sizes this was with silver hardware which is really really cute I feel like they stand out a lot with the silver and then the back of this one just has a heart and the inside of it is the same thing it's the suede that I told you guys the, the tan suede and then the straps for this one is on the inside of the bag rather than the outside the next bag that I am gonna be showing you guys is this Tory Birch bag. This was actually like a random little gift. I love this bag. It's so cute. It's smaller. It's okay. So compared to this one, this one's a lot bigger than this one. But size wise, it is smaller than the Gucci one. But this bag is so beautiful. Very sturdy. I think this is the leather as well. And this isn't like beige, but it's not green. I don't know the exact color on this one, but I feel like it's it goes more for like a gray tone. This one's kind of similar to like the Gucci ones. They have the gold chain on the side and then the strap and it's also adjustable. And then it just has the two T's, one upside down and then just the gold zipper. I don't know what to describe this, but it's not suede. It's um, and it has the two slots, but this bag is really, really beautiful. It's very sturdy. I love it. This is my favorite bag, too. <laughs> and price wise, if I'm not mistaken, so, so this bag ended up being $475 with taxes already. And it's, it's so cute. It was so worth it. I love it. Now, the next bag that I'm going to be showing you guys is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier. And this one was actually gifted to me two years ago on Christmas. If I'm not mistaken, these, well, at the time, it was $1,400. So, with tags, it had came out like to $1,600. And right now, for retail, if I'm not mistaken, the retail price on it is... $1,680 so it has increased so this was December of 2019 and I don't really wear this bag a lot I feel like it's been so so long since I've worn this bag my boyfriend's actually always telling me to sell it because I never use it but I really really love this bag I don't wear it I don't use it I always wanted this purse two years ago I really 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 wanted this bag and I just I don't want to get rid of it it's such a cute bag I know it's not my go-to just because I started getting into the like smaller bags and like cross bodies and stuff but yeah this is the bandolier this one has a design on the side and this one does come with the strap you can get the regular one without this added and it's a little bit cheaper inside of it is red and I had actually purchased this from 
<laughs> remember if I got it on a website or if I got it on Amazon. I hope you guys can see, but this it's an organizer. That way the bag doesn't get dirty. And it is red, so it does match the bag. And then it has the two hand straps, so if you want to wear it this way, or if you want to wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody, you can. It does come with a little key lock, and it has its keys. I have the keys inside of it. And then I just um, added this Louis Vuitton, um, what is this called? I don't know what these are called. I forgot. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm having a brain fart right now. But I really, really wanted this and I was like, okay, this is going to look super cute. And this was $200, but I just have it into a bow. But this is a really cute bag. And now getting to the last bag that I have, my last purse. This is actually my most recent purchase. It is this bebe bag. I bought this one at TJ Maxx and it was $24.99. And I've already been wearing this bag for two weeks and I just noticed that it still has the little papers in the bottom. But this bag was super cute to me. Like this one's actually beige beige. I really like that the bebe was in gold. And then it just has this little thing hanging. The zipper is also gold. It does have a long strap so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, crossbody, and then you can carry it on your hands and if I'm being honest with you guys it actually took me like an hour to decide on this bag just because it is a little the shape is a little bit different to what I usually wear and then I feel like it did remind me like of the Louis Vuittons I don't know the name of them but they're this shape and I was like this is a cute shape or just use it as an everyday bag it's such a beautiful bag I loved it and I'm so glad that I purchased it the inside of this bag is all the same color and I also have paper in it. But yes, this bag was so freaking beautiful. And for $25, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Alright, you guys. So that was pretty much it for this video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Turn on your bell notification. That way you guys can notify every single time I upload a new video. And with that being said, I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye!